All right, hi guys. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, a friend of mine came to me and she had this egg press. And I said, what's an egg press? She said, it's a, it's a, um, this little device where you put an egg into it and it squishes it into a square egg. So I'm sure you've seen like square water melons on, on the internet and stuff like that. Um, but I'd never seen a square egg before. So that's pretty neat. It's a neat little, little gadget that she had picked up somewhere years ago and you don't really see anything like it in the store today. Um, but what had happened was there's this sort of a, a piston piece uh, that squishes down on the egg and one of them had um, fallen into the bottom of the dishwasher and melted on the heating element down there. So she came to me and she said, hey, <clears throat> hey, this, this piece got melted in, in the dishwasher. Do you think you could print a new one uh, to replace it? Uh, it's a very simple object. Uh, and I said, sure, I can do that, no problem. Okay, so here's the egg press. It consists of four pieces. You've got the main body here, which has um, rectangular um, area inside of it. And then you've got this bottom piece which goes in here and that that's just going to lay on the bottom and then when you go to get the egg out it allows you to push in there and pop it out of there without smushing it up uh, and then the next piece is the this is uh sort of the the piston uh, which goes in here and then it's going to be smushing down on that egg inside of there and then you've got the lid which screws on and that's going to force that piston down onto the egg um, so what this will look like is put that in there put that down on the bottom I've 3D printed this plastic egg for demonstration purposes because I didn't have a real egg handy. I'm going to put that in there and as I turn this, smush that down, we unscrew this and Pop that out, and what is this? It's a square egg. Um, not really. I 3D printed this one also. Um, incidentally, it's totally hollow, so I was able to do some really awesome bridging across the top there. Uh, I print that without any infill. Uh, same goes for the egg. I printed this uh, totally hollow as well. Um, got this ridge down here um, if I was if I was to print it again I would probably print um, a couple of eggs at once so it would have more time to cool between each layer um, but uh, it gets the gets the job done so um, the problem was uh, my friend had a couple of these uh, that she would do, um, she would make these square eggs uh, and then slice them up and do fancy hors d'oeuvres for dinner parties and stuff like that. Um, and one of them went through the dishwasher, well they all went through the dishwasher, but one of them fell into the bottom of the dishwasher and landed on the heating element. Uh, and that's this one here. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is make a replacement part. Uh, to replace this piece. Now the first thing I noticed when I looked at it is um, this top part of the piston doesn't fit into anything so there's actually no need to make it this this way all it has to do is have a flat surface to touch this so I mean you could put this upside down and that would still press down on it so uh, this part needs to be um, exactly square and exactly the same dimensions so that it'll 
squish down in here without anything oozing out around the edges. And it needs to be exactly the same height in this direction um, so that when this smush, when this is, screws down all the way, the eggs smush just right to form a square and it, you don't go too far and form a, uh, you know, a pancake. Um, so what I thought was I can make just a, a straight um, cube or rectangle uh, to replace this piece and it'll, it'll do the job just fine as long as it has the same dimensions. Uh, so I'm going to get my dial calipers out and um, take some readings here. This should be, this thing should be to perfectly square um, as far as I know. So that looks like about 39 and a half, well, and it should be exactly the same in the other direction here. So 39.4 by 39.4 and the height needs to be exactly 34.2 Okay, so I'm just gonna make a I'm just gonna go into Tinkercad and mock up a rectangle of um, Those exact dimensions and print it out and give it a shot and see what happens Okay, I've now taken the part off of the printer and I wanted to show you I printed this with with no infill whatsoever, and I didn't think it would work. I thought this would just be sort of a test run, uh, but it did work actually beautifully. Uh, my printer was able to bridge the top there, um, so that's that's some really impressive bridging actually. Um, but it's cool to be able to look through it and see that the whole thing is just completely clear and transparent. Uh, now it probably won't be uh, strong enough. To actually press an egg like this because it's very thin uh, so I probably will need to print a new one for the real thing that actually does have some infill in it um, but I'm also th the other issue that I ran into is uh, it's really difficult to tell which is the top and which is the bottom or which is the side uh, it's really easy to sit this thing in, in there going the wrong way so to make it easier I think what I'm going to do is modify this design just slightly uh, so you can tell which is the top and which is the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redesign this to be a little bit more like the original one. Uh, I'm going to have a, a rectangular piece down at the bottom and then just a, a simple cylinder on top of it. Um, uh, so let's watch a time lapse as I print this real quick. that came out great um, as you can see I uh, used a little bit of infill this time so it's really strong and um, it's really obvious that which end is up um, in, in fact it came out so well that I went on and printed another one in green um, exact same settings and everything uh, using some uh, green uh, Esun PETG and uh, so she's got a nice little uh, holiday set uh, just in time for the holidays. All right, now we're going to give it a try. I'm going to pop that piece in there. Um, drop in the egg. Put in the piston. And screw on the top. And hold that for a second, let the egg take shape, and oh, wow, look at that egg, perfectly square. 
Uh, you might be thinking, you know, it's great that I can print uh, this one part, but what if you want to print the whole thing? Uh, you know, it, it definitely looks like a design that could be uh, replicated pretty easily um, with 3D printing, so I do plan on, uh, in a future episode, uh, designing this entire uh, device and uh, making a, a, a uh, one that will be freely uh, downloadable and printable for you. I want to thank you for tuning in to the show today, and uh, I encourage you, if you enjoyed what you saw, Give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and uh, keep printing, keep making, and uh, keep rocking on.